Hello everyone, I am Hashmi Vardhan and today I am here to discuss about the golden section search method. In this session, we will discuss about the introduction and the procedure of the golden section search uh, and, an example pro and an example problem and also an application in MATLAB. Okay, so okay, so this is my objective. In this video, I will try to find the Q factor of an RLC circuit which is connected in series. Uh, precisely speaking, we'll find it. We'll try to tune the Q factor. So this is an RLC circuit connected in series. So yeah, when it comes to Q factor, it is important because in practical applications, it determines the quality of the circuit. So that we can tune our circuits. Uh, at the, at the desired frequencies by operating at the Q factor. Okay, so introduction. Uh, let's speak about the golden section first. So it is a technique to find the maximum or minimum of a function uh, by decreasing the intervals which we taken initially. So uh, even we can find the roots of the functions or polynomials, etc. If uh, but this is done only for an unimodal function if there is another uh, any bimodal function or not the given algorithm may fail to find the extremum points so this algorithm uses the importance of golden ratio uh, which is found in every beautiful aspect of the nature so it has a value of 1.618 so uh, hope you could see my cursor so this is the basic idea of golden section sets i'll tell that in detail in the next coming slides so general procedure initially uh, the interval will be taken as a naught and b naught for any function it can be any function so we'll take but it has to be a unimodal function so we'll take an initial interval a naught and b naught okay so iteration one initially we'll guess two points in between the taken range in such a way that it satisfies these conditions so uh, this is the iteration which we take uh, i mean these are the points which we take uh, where rho is should be less than 1 by 2 i mean in this algorithm rho is constant so rho 1 rho 2 rho 3 is all our rows so i commonly took rho over here after uh, by this expression after finding a1 and b1 we will check the values of a1 f of a1 and f of b1 after finding them if f of a1 is less than f of b1 that means f of x is increasing from b1 if we increase the b1 we cannot find the minima so that implies our minimum point which is x star should belong to the initial point a0 and v1 if f of b1 is less than i mean if the other case other than this case if f of b1 is less than f of a1 we will be finding the minima from a1 to b0 because it will be increasing from a0 to the lhs okay so this is the thing after completion of this we will be able to set a different interval which is lesser size than a0 and b0 so we will we will be having a reduced interval a0 or b1 or a1 comma b0 by taking that interval we will again perform the same iteration i mean same procedure so we will be getting yeah we will be estimating a2 b2 and from the reduced interval which is a0 comma b1 or a1 comma b0 uh, it depends on the values then again we'll be doing the same thing so uh, in first iterations we assume two equations right like uh, here yeah a1 for a1 and for also b1 we assume two equations but in the to optimize this uh, calculations we will assume a the new point b2 as a1 the old point okay so we can only we now have to only calculate a2 uh, reducing the uh, methods in this 
okay now a2 when compared to a0 it will be at 1 minus 2 row distance from a0 so uh, we will be getting such equations from the calculation uh, distance calculation but here in golden section sets row 1 is equals to row 2 so calculating those you will be getting an equation in row and finding the roots we will get two values of row actually 3 plus or minus root 5 by 2 but uh, 3 plus root 5 by 2 will be greater than 1 by 2 our initial condition which we considered is row should be less than 1 by 2 less than or equals to 1 by 2 so uh, the only possibility is row equals to 3 minus root 5 by 2 which is equals to 0 0.382 and this row value will be equal to 1 minus 1 by row that is nothing but golden section uh, golden ratio so this is the beautiful architecture of this method yeah. okay now let's see the example initially let's define a golden section method in matlab uh, for initializations the uh, range which i have taken is 0 to 2 initial range and the epsilon this is nothing but tolerance uh, this means if the range I mean the interval difference becomes less than this epsilon we will stop calculating more than that okay so I gave total number of iterations equals to 20 to we could even increase the iteration size or decrease it but to get a precise value we need more iterations so uh, this is the value which we got uh, in the previous calculation row equals to 3 minus root 5 by 2 okay i is nothing but the iteration count so initially i took 0 because we did not do any iterations over here and then define we defined the points a1 and b1 and uh, we will be giving the values over here so you could see the, this is nothing but a1 my uh, you see a1 minus a0 equals to rho into b0 minus a0 this is the equations which it uh, which we seen above okay this is the function example which we can take in the other uh, matlab script or anything okay f of a1 is nothing but uh, f of this new value which you have taken and then even we will calculate the f of b1 and we will plot these two points in a graph with a red line indicating a star okay so yeah that's the goal initialization was done and then now we have to come to the while loop for uh, for the, all the iterations so initially if uh, at, this is nothing but the interval difference interval difference should be greater than epsilon which you have taken and iterations should be less than total iterations uh, i started from 0 so it should be less than 20 if uh, that means uh, it will have 20 iterations if I start from 1, we have to keep less than or equals to total letter to get 20 iterations. So, uh, okay, this is the while loop. Now we are comparing the values of f of a1 and f of b1. If f of a1 is less than f of b1, that implies the function, uh, according to the previous value, the function will be lie, uh, the function will lies in between a0 and b1. So we will take b0 as b1, which is a reduced interval. So yeah b1 will be same as a1 uh, because this is, is done to update the new value so again this is uh, computed f of a1 f of b1 so the graph is plotted if f of a1 is not equals to, if f of b1 is greater than f of a1 then we will do the alternative thing which means we will take a0 equals to a1 yeah so we will update the b1 value too and we will calculate the different again we will take actually a2 b2 here will be again considered as b1 a1 as the before values were changed so again we will calculate f of a1 f of b1 and again we will plot the graphs okay after completion we will increment the iteration number so i equals to i plus 1 this will be carried out until the interval size is less than epsilon or iteration exceed 20 okay so, so we will end the while loop too and uh, even choosing the minimum point we need to find the uh, I mean 
our example object to is we have to find the minimum value of the given function so if uh, in the after completion if f of a1 the final values will be there right in that equation if f of a1 is less than f of b1 then our minimum value is a1 okay we'll get the minimum at a1 because that's the minimum existed and the minimum value is f of a1 else uh, i mean we'll plot the graph and if f of b1 is less than f of a1 then b1 is the then at b1 we will get the minimum so that's the plotting okay uh, i took this example x square minus 2x plus 1 this is nothing but x minus 1 whole square uh, a simple example we will get that minimum at x equals to 1 and the minimum value is 0 okay so let's check the graph uh, output and results yeah observing here we, we got an uh, parab it's a parabola but uh, not all the values are calculated only few values will be calculated because we are reducing the interval with respect to the golden ratio so many values will not be calculated here only 20 iterations so 20 points and zooming that we according to the graph which plotted these are the values which I mean the minimum value will be present at 1.003 and uh, the minimum value is 9 into 10 power minus 6 this is nothing but 0 0.000 and so on 9 so okay here we can see the minimum values uh, x minimum equals to 1 point which means our minimum uh, op minimizer is 1.003 and the f minimum will be 0. Uh, 0001 okay actually f minimum is 0 but the iterations are less so we are stop we stopped the value at there but if we have more iterations we will be getting the precise value so this is what i want to say now coming to the applications these are some applications uh, which can be used with the golden section search i mean it can be used to find the activation energy uh, from non isothermal kinetic conversion and it is used to find the tuning frequency of the circuit it's also used to find the q factor of any rlc circuit even series or parallel so there are many more applications of golden section search okay uh, the application which i took is q finding the q factor i mean to obtain it the desired q factor of the rlc circuit connected in series okay uh, so let's talk about the q factor now q factor decides the quality of the circuit so it is important to maintain a required i mean high q factor for example in radio or tv broadcasting uh, we should have high q factor because low i mean q factor is basically used to select a particular frequencies to pass through it is a uh, used to act like a filter i mean it's not a filter but it's just a value or a frequency so it if the q factor is high that implies it is it allows only a narrow range of frequencies to pass through it which means uh, around the resonant frequency okay so if the frequency bandwidth is low i mean the band which is passing through the q factor is low that implies it is more selective if it's more selective then we will be having uh, for a particular channel the only that particular frequency will be given and uh, we could get uh, we could prevent the interface with the neighboring channels okay in uh, radio broadcasting and uh, energy will also be not dissipated more because only few amount of uh, frequencies are being transmitted okay passed the, if low if there is a low lower q factor it is less selective which means more range of frequencies will be allowed at once and there will be interference due to this interference of frequencies uh, the energy will be more dissipated okay so mathematical expression is given over here q equals to w naught i mean omega naught l by r omega naught is nothing but uh, the resonant frequency over here l is the inductance and r is the resistance of the circuit so okay golden section search algorithm is used to find the resonant frequency also well, that makes the q factor value i mean the application which i take uh, my q factor is unity my desired q factor is unity so now i have to write a function i mean write a matlab code so that if uh, to tune the circuits 
at the q factor uh, at which the q factor gets unity so that's my objective over here okay so yeah initial let us take the initial capacitance value as 1 nanofarad uh, now we have to calculate the resistance and also the inductance parallelly so okay let's take a range of values from uh, resistance values as 500 to 1500 ohms and uh, inductance uh, having the values 0 0.5 milli henry to 1.5 milli henry okay uh, yeah we our desired q factor should be unity so our code runs for each and every iteration each and every value of the resistance and also the uh, corresponding inductance okay yeah yeah initially we'll take one resistance value i mean let us suppose we will take the 500 value and we will apply golden section for optimal inductance which means for r equals to 500 what value of l gives us the q factor one and similarly we will increase the resistance values okay let's see two degree iterations manually if r for r equals to 500 and l equals to the given range f of 500 comma 0 0.5 milli henry i mean 500 and uh, when r equals to 500 and l equals to uh, 0 0.5 milli henry we'll get the q factor as uh, 1.414 and uh, that opposite interval f of b naught i mean 500 comma b naught we'll get 2.414 here we are considering again points a1 and d1 in the range of uh, induct uh, inductances so we'll here find uh, c1 and d1 according to uh, here c0 is nothing but 0 0.5 milli henry and d0 is nothing but 1.5 milli henry uh, and uh, c1 and calculating them c1 and d1 will get the values over there and uh, finding their function values will be given like this so c0 uh, c f of c1 uh, is less than f of d1 okay so which means the optimized value lies in between c1 i mean uh, what is it c0 comma d1 so again we'll consider the same process same ratio and we'll repeat the process until the interval reduced to the tolerance value tolerance i have given a particular range over here so then we will increase the r initially we took r equals to 500 so here we will take r equals to 501 and again repeat the process until we achieve the desired q factor okay so let's see the code we'll initially clear the command window then uh, i have given the initializations c equals to 10 power minus 9 in parrots okay. desired q factor is 1 uh, okay minimum resistance is 500 ohms maximum resistance is 1500 similarly minimum inductance is 5 into 10 power minus 4 henry uh, maximum is 15 into 10 power minus 4 henry okay. this is our function uh, f of x comma y is equals to square root of y by x into square root of c which x here x is not equal to resistance and l is nothing but uh, i mean y is nothing but inductance okay uh, this is the row value which we got in the above calculations so this is the optimal value c and d initially initial c is nothing but the minimum inductance and d is nothing but maximum in, uh, inductance which is c naught and d naught in the calculation i have given the iterations as thousand so starting from thousand and uh, st uh, starting from one to thousand q factor initial q factor is zero and this is the tolerance value So optimized resistance is zero and optimized inductance is also zero. These all are zeros because uh, to operate in the while loop, we, sh we should have the minimum value optimal values. So after that, we'll get the accurate optimal values by applying the function equations. Okay. So uh, this we have taken the for loop, which means for j equals to 500 ohms to 1500 ohms, which means after completion of the while loop uh, we will give away a nested while loop after completion of the while loop it will again increment the j value which means it will for 500 it will execute one while loop and for 501 it again it will come to 501 and it will execute another value 
under while loop uh, as such. So this is this while loop is used for inductance inductance values. So see, as i equals to one, I have admitted here i is less than or equals to max it up to get thousand iterations. And this is nothing but the tolerance which I said before in the example problem. So the similar procedure which are following D1 and C1 two points we have considered them and we are finding the values according to the equations. So if f of j comma d1 which is f of 500 comma that uh, d1 value whichever we got is if it is greater than the c1 then we will uh, obtain the I mean cut the interval to c0 comma d1 because after d1 it will start again increasing. Okay so yeah we will change the optimal values over here and again uh, We'll consider the points, and this is the optimized calculation of by taking d1 equals to c1 and new c1 equals to this old values. Okay, if it this is not the case, then again we'll go to the else. Uh, optimal values will be changed. I mean, this will not be changed. This will be changed outside the while loop. I mean, this optimum r optimal will be deciding outside the while loop. Uh, l optimal will be decided inside the while loop. So this is the same procedure which you do and after completion of the while loop uh, we will again check the q factor q factor tolerance is 0 0.002 so this is the different tolerance which means uh, if the q factor is less is in between 1 and 1.002 uh, we will consider it as our desired q factor our circuit is tuned so if this is the case then optimal q factor then optimal q factor initially i have taken zero so that is that will be taken q factor over here and again optimal r is r optimal optal is l optimal okay and we will increase the iterations will i mean here we will be ending the while loop and after this we will have to end the for uh, for loop 2 so we'll take again we'll initialize the c naught equals to l minimum d naught equals to l maximum to iterate whole the loop so again we'll start increase the r value and again we'll start from 0 0.5 milli henry to 1.5 milli henry again uh, the iteration should be thousand iterations as such so yeah these are all the things to display in the output Okay, this is the thing which we have to uh, draw the graph. Okay, so we will be printing the optimized R value, optimized inductance value, and optimized Q factor value at the end. And now we will plot the 3D graph over because we are plotting 3D graph because we have to uh, change the Q factor with respect to both R and L. So we will be having three axes over here. One axis is Q, and one axis is R and another axis is L. So the R values will be uh, 500 to 1500, and there will be 1000 points in between. Same with respect to L. Uh, we will be creating a mesh with the R and uh, L values. So now Z is nothing but the Z axis. Uh, in this case, Z is Q factor. So color map, this is used because. Uh, to change the different colors for different iterations if we don't use this all the color i mean all the graph will be in black in color and we don't know where the iteration was done and which interval was reduced and discarded so that is the thing so yeah surf function is used to plot the 3d graph x y z x is nothing but r1 y is nothing but l1 and z is nothing but uh, r q factor Okay, these are uh, all the functions for color, uh, obtaining the colors in the graph. So X label, which means uh, ohms, resistance is in ohms, uh, inductance is in Henry and Q factor, and Z label is just Q factor. And this is the title. Holding, uh, and here we will uh, mark the optimized point with a different uh, indicator. So this is used when Scatter 3 is used when uh, the three axes are present and we need to point only particular points. 
so this is the complete code now we will see the execution of the code uh, yeah here's here's the code okay, i'm going to run this yeah. as you could see here i'm zooming this so this is in henry's this is in homes and this is the q factor so this is the required optimal point which i use scatter three okay i'm going in a different direction yeah color this is all dark blue and this is all the different color because uh, for the first iteration it is a dark blue state after the iteration was done and the interval size is decreased so it uh, the second interval will be having this transition of the blue color so we will be having light blue color uh, in such case so the, uh, we'll be uh, these are the q factor ranges uh, at the dark blue stage it's 0 0.6 at, uh, i mean blue dark blue and light blue transition it's 0 0.8 and at light blue it is 1 and see blue it's at 1.2 you could see over here and at red it's 2.4 the q factor is 2.4 so this is the transition bar so this is the optimal point which we got yeah it's the point there will be many different points over here so you could plot all of them by using this cursor and we'll go to the command window right now so these are the iterations uh, there are nearly thousand into okay thousand into hundred it's one lakh iterations over here you could see the values changing So here we got these optimized resistance values. See at seven, uh, the resistance of optimized resistance is seven thirteen ohms, and uh, inductance is uh, five into ten power minus four ohms. Oh, sorry, it has to be Henry. Yeah, I look over it. And the optimized Q factor is uh, one point uh, one Q, uh, the one which we desired. So that's the code over here. Now going back to our presentation. You see, these are the values which I got. I've shown this, and this is the graph which I have shown before. Yeah, these are my references, and that's it for today. Thank you.